So after thousands and thousands and thousands of miles on this bike and the previous bikes, what is the best riding boots and gloves out there? I've tried so many in the almost 35 years that I have been riding, and I'm here to tell you, it's Indy Ridge. So it all started a couple of years ago when Harley Davidson invited me out to Arizona to actually ride the Harley Davidson new ST models when they first came out. And at that time, I've already owned my pair of Indy Ridge boots. I purchased the boots with my own money probably about a year before we went out to Arizona. And I just love the boots. Not only do they look amazing, the comfort level is amazing. You put the boots on and it's almost like zero break in time. Fantastic ankle protection, superior quality. And I was just in love with the Indy Ridge boots that I had. So long story short, when I was actually in Arizona, Harley Davidson took some photos for us and I used one photo of me on the brand new Road Glide ST. And I actually posted that picture and that's how me and Steve, the owner of Indy Ridge, that's kind of how it all started. And we started talking and he asked me about the boots and obviously I told him that I love them and that's how our relationship started. I wasn't given the boots, I purchased them with my own money. And I'm here to tell you, there is no other boot that I have ever tried that even comes close to the Indy Ridge line of boots. So now in the past probably two years or so, I've tried on basically their entire line of boots and gloves. And let me tell you, their gloves are absolutely amazing. Same thing goes for the gloves, like with the boots, they're super comfortable, great superior quality, a lot of protection, and almost zero break in time as well. And that's a huge thing because I've tried on so many boots in the past where you basically like put them on and then it takes you several months to even break the boot in. And during that break in process, it is like a nightmare. So through the past two years, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you guys have emailed me, messaged me, DM me, told me that you guys got the boots and how comfortable they are. And obviously agreed what I said about the break-in, almost zero break-in time, super high quality. And it's even the little details, how when you receive your boots, how they're even packaged, just makes you feel and know that this is a high quality item. One of the absolute best customer service departments. And chances are you're going to get Steve on the phone if you call to resolve any issues that you guys have. On most of the boots, they're already on their 4.0s, which is the fourth version of the boots. They're always trying to make the boot better, always trying to be innovative and improve on anything that needs improvement. But I was super happy when I first bought, probably almost three years ago, when I first bought my first pair of Comanches 1.0s, and now they're on the 4.0s. And I didn't even think they could actually make those boots better but they did. So let me take you guys inside. I actually have all the boots laid out and some of the gloves that I use laid out because a lot of you guys ask me, which model of boots do I use? Like which, which boot do I use in the fall? Which boot do I use in the winter? Which boot do I use in the summer? What gloves are you using? So I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you a couple models in their lineup as far as the boots and gloves go. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free, hit me down in the comments below. You could also go down into the description and check out IndyRidgeUSA.com. Use my code below and also get a discount off your entire order. Let me just show you these amazing boots. I told you guys, I have a lot of their boots and a lot of their gloves, man. I love the product so much, but let me start off by showing you a couple things and then we'll go into the boots. But like they have some great face shields, super high quality, super thick. They're not really thin, really super high quality. I always actually keep at least two pair in my saddlebag at all times in my saddlebag liners. If I'm on long trips or something, if you just wanna cover your face for the wind, the sun, even if it's raining, it just keeps that stinging off your face if you got a three quarter helmet on. But I just posted a video about how to use that face shield. And there was a lot of comments about, why don't you just wear a full face helmet? Listen, I ride all winter long and I use a full face helmet. But even if you use a full face helmet in a winter, 
Trust me when I tell you, wear one of those underneath your full face helmet. It's going to keep your face and head so much warmer than just using a full face helmet. No matter what, even if you use a full face helmet, you still have air coming in. And once that air comes in, that cold air, it's still going to be chilly. So no matter what, I always use one of these underneath my full face helmet when I'm riding in the winter. That's 100% guaranteed. So now let's start like it's right now it's uh, it's full. So what do I use in a full? I have um, three pair here. Actually, let's switch these like this. So for the full and winter months, I have two pairs right here that I primarily use for the winter months. I do have heated grips and you guys know I ride all winter long and with heated grips with these gloves you're pretty much good to go unless like you're crazy like me and do a trip when it's like 15 20 degrees out then i gotta rock my battery powered or my plug-in powered heated gloves because it just gets way too cold but otherwise i'm rocking these these are um the gauntlet full in black right here and what's awesome about the entire indie ridge line of gloves there's a bunch of things, but I'm gonna tell you, you see right there, they work with your phone. And a lot, a lot of gloves that I've used in the past, I have a lot of gloves that I had to throw in the garbage because they do not work with the phone. All of the Indie Ridge gloves work. You could operate your phone, you could scroll, and I can't stand having a glove that I have on and I'm riding and it's cold and I just wanna keep moving that I can't operate the phone with my glove, but every single pair of Indy Ridge gloves, you are able to do that, and it's super, super sensitive. So that's number one. Another question that I get a lot is what size glove do, do I wear, and what like size boots do I wear? Are they kind of true to size? We'll go over that, but as far as the gloves, I wear a large. So I'm about six foot two inches tall. I weigh about 210 pounds, and I have a big hand. And I'm telling you now that I wear all of my gloves are actually a size large. For one thing, I don't want, I, you can't have the glove too tight, but you also cannot have the glove too loose. So I like a glove that kind of fits firm, uh, is fitting, it's going to break in, and it's going to be very comfortable, and I'm going to be able to get a good grasp and a good feel on the grips and on the clutch and brake lever. So another excellent thing is they have, um, in every glove, they have the knuckle protection. These gloves also have the Velcro right here where you could put your long sleeve shirt or jacket in underneath and then cinch it down. They also have a lot of padding. God forbid you go down. And the first thing that is going to go down on that pavement is your hand. So they have a lot of padding inside. If you guys could see that, I cannot stress enough the quality, the quality. And I'm telling you guys, you know me. You know me by now after watching my videos for several years now. I like quality and I'd rather pay a little more. Oh, that leather smells good. Pay a little more to get something that's quality over something that is not going to perform well, that is not comfortable, that doesn't work with your phone. Um, or doesn't look great. I just don't want it. I'd rather pay a little more, enjoy the product, have the product perform as it's supposed to, and have the product for a long time, longevity. That's very important. So that is the full black gauntlet glove. And this one, same thing, is in brown. So then I also use a pair, if I want something a little more lighter, this is their denim and black glove and let me tell you this comes in a bunch of colors i also have a pair of blue denim with the black this glove is amazing i use this say like in the fall or late spring i'll even sometimes in the summer but not on a super hot day i'll use this glove and let me show you guys it just i'm telling you the feel the fit also you got for the phone on both sides, not just on the right. And the fit, the feel, the finish, the quality, the leather, it's just absolutely, it's just a perfectly designed and well-made glove. Um, so you guys could check those out. And then the biggest question is, because obviously we do most of our riding in the summer and hot days, this is their power sports glove. 
I love, I, I think I went through already like, well, this year, this is my second pair, believe it or not. I, because I do a lot of riding, I put about 12,000 miles on Mad Max in about, I don't know, 10 months. I need a new pair because just the grips, I guess I have the rough grips and stuff and I use them all the time. I'm already on my second pair, but they, trust me, they do last. They lasted me about 12,000 miles on that bike. But this is um, a great lighter glove that I'm always, you guys probably see me always wearing this glove in the hot summer months, even late spring, early fall. Knuckle protection for your phone, super comfortable. They have the padding over here in the palm. It's just a fantastic glove breathable it breathes so if you guys are looking for something lighter this would be the glove the power sports glove so definitely check them out so those are the gloves that i'm using and i mean everybody almost everybody in the crew and my riding crew is using indy ridge and a lot of people now i see when i'm at a meet and greets and stuff they're using indy ridge and i'm getting the same feedback as i'm telling you guys now super comfortable Super high quality, works with the phone, almost zero break-in period, very important. Like these gloves are brand new, but when I put this glove on right now, it feels like I've been wearing this glove, like honestly, for several months. And that's what I love about the products. Not only with the gloves, with the boots, you put them on, you, right away, you're in comfort zone. A lot of other boots that I had, you just, you can't wear them. You literally, your feet are hurting. I'm in these boots, like when we're on a trip to Sturgis for two weeks, I'm literally in these boots like 16, 17 hours every single day. That's all I take. I don't take sneakers with me. All I, I'm in the boots all day, walking around miles and miles on the bike. And they are just super, super comfortable. So let's get into the boots now. I do want to show you something cool because Steve, the owner at Indy Ridge, actually linked up with an artist called Risky. I don't know if you guys are familiar with his work, but if you're not, definitely check it out. But they actually teamed up to make a pretty much a limited series boot. I will not use this boot. This boot is rather expensive. If you're into something like that, definitely check that out also. But this is actually, he's like a world-renowned uh, graffiti artist and artist. And like, this is some of his designs. If you go onto the website, you could actually pick out a bunch of designs and that's what pretty much you're going to get on the inside of the box. But like the other thing I was discussing is look at like the packaging. Like a lot of times you get a pair of boots. It's like this in a, just in a bag and it's shipped to your house or just in a box. And, you know, even say you spend $200 and it's shipped to you like that. It, I don't know. For me, it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. So like, even when Steve at Indy Ridge ships over these boots, like it's just like top, top quality. Everything's packaged nice. I'll show you this pair of boots right here, but this is the risky boot that they collaborated on. It is super, super nice. So it's pretty much looks like the crow, which I'll show you guys in a second, which is right here. But look at that white stitching, red tag. It's got the red on the inside. Super, super nice boot, man. But I'm actually, this just actually sits in my office. I'm not going to wear these because this is a limited edition boot, which is uh, pretty expensive. Like I said, if you're into that, definitely check it out but that's how it's packaged, that's how it looks. Let me show you another boot. This is the Crow. And again on the boots, so you guys know, they are pretty much true to size. So like I wear an 11, 10 and a half 11 in like sneakers, pretty much 11s in sneakers and other shoes and stuff. And that's what I'm rocking in the Indy Ridge. So a lot of times you guys ask me, are they true to size? Yes, they, they really are. So, but again, you might order a pair that's maybe a half inch too small, half inch too big. Man, let me tell you, the customer service at Indy Ridge is bar none like the best. It's really absolutely amazing. They're there to make you happy. They're there to take care of you. You know, don't go out, run a marathon in the boots and obviously expect to uh, uh, return them. But you know what I'm saying? If they don't fit, send them back. Um, they'll definitely help you out. But this is... Um, how 
the boots. If you get a pair of Indy Ridge boots, this is how they are shipped. Now check this out, right? You open the box is amazing. And that's just the whole unboxing experience. It just makes you feel good about the purchase. And they're actually not, um, I'm gonna say on the expensive side, nor they are they on the cheap end of the side. They're pretty much right there with other riding boots, but the quality, I'm telling you, you're actually getting what you're paying for. And then when you're unboxing the item, it just, you feel good about your purchase. That's just how I am. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like that. But the first thing you notice is when you get a pair of boots, there is a face shield inside of the packaging right there. I'm gonna put that to the side and that's how they look. You start unwrapping the wrapper and these are a brand new, this is the first time I'm actually opening it. You have a brochure, Indie Ridge brochure right there, which um, has a whole bunch of information. Really, really cool. I'm gonna leave that in there. And let me just close this and show you guys their boot lineup, which is awesome. And then I'll tell you guys which one I like the best for fall, winter, and which one I like best for summer, because I got that question a lot as well. So this is their Crow. So it is a all black boot, which I'm sure probably the majority of you guys, I love it. Um, probably the majority of you guys probably would like this. If you like something a little more plain, meaning as far as color goes, it matches with everything. And that's why I love these boots because I'm telling you, they're, it's not a big, heavy, bulky boot. And once they're really broken in, I'm telling you, um, the comfort level is great right out of the box, right out of the get-go. Like I could put this boot on right now and go on a two week trip and not complain once, I'm telling you. So like this boot, not only you could wear for riding, but it looks so good. You could actually wear it like out, which I've done, just throw a pair of jeans on, t-shirt, and you could use this boot, like you don't have to take, if you're going on a trip, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to take a riding boot and then like a evening boot, just say you wanna just go out with the guys, have some dinner or with the family, you can wear the same boot. So that is the Crow, so this is an all black boot. Same thing goes for all the boots, a lot of cushion inside, super comfortable. It has the protection you need in the ankle, the ankle support on both sides, amazing looking boot. So that's one of the boots I use. Then let's go over right here. This, as you guys could see, this boot has seen a lot of miles. Um, I'm not sure how many, probably over the past two, maybe year and a half, this is their Apache. So I don't know if the colors are gonna come in um, good, but this is uh, their, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back. What I'm gonna show you guys now is their, kind of their waterproof lineup, and then I'll go over uh, their ventilated lineup, what I'm using. They do have a couple other models, a couple other different colors. You could just head on over to their website and just check them out. I'm showing you guys what I have. This is a fully waterproof boot. So this is also the Apache fully waterproof boot. It's got the brown leather. It's got like a, almost like a gum sole, which I really like. Um, I just like that look. And same thing goes for this one. Super high quality, comfy. It has the ankle protection. Wow, I have thousands and thousands of miles on this boot. You guys could see, but it just holds up so well. Like even at the shift point right there, you could see it's, you know, like kind of worn a little bit, but there's no holes or anything. It's just a well-made boot. That's all I could say. It's a absolutely fantastic made boot. This is the brown Apache. Love that. I actually just keep this pair because they kind of are a little worn. If I know I'm going to hit some rain on a, on a ride that we have to do from home, I will take this boot because I don't want to mess up my other boots, so I'll take this boot. That's why I have this one. So then let's go to the other boot I have for fall, winter, and this is the Comanche 4.0. Like I said before, a lot of the models are already in their fourth revision. So, you know, Steve, owner, he doesn't mess around. He's always changing, always innovating, making the stuff better, and he's always asking me, like, 
John, what I'm, I'm not even kidding you. He's always asking me like, John, what do you think we should change on it? What needs to be changed? What needs to be made better? And even after I got my Comanche 1.0s, I really couldn't give him an answer. Honest to God, I really could not give him an answer. And that's the type of guy he is. Um, he really cares about the product, uh, his products that he makes. He wants the customers to be happy. Um, and that's why he's asking me all the time. Um, but I really couldn't give him an answer because I didn't have one. And I'm not kidding. I didn't have anything to say, like any real gripe uh, that I could say, hey, you need to change this or you need to change it. There was nothing because I loved it. It was, it was again, it was comfortable. It gave, gave same thing, comfy, the ankle protection. This is the Comanche kind of white sole. Look at the bottom sole right there. It's got a lot of good grip. I just love the look. So now if you're gonna ask me, and a lot of people do, which one do I love the best? As far as a waterproof boot, it's this one. I just love the look. This thing, man, this thing looks great with a pair of jeans, any color. Uh, you got the great protection. You got the waterproofness of the boot. I just love it. I just love how this boot looks. And this is the boot that I purchased around three years ago before I even knew Steve and before um, I even really knew about Indie Ridge, but this is the first boot that I purchased what, uh, what started it all. So love this boot. You guys should definitely check it out. It looks great in person. And like I said, looks great. Waterproof, looks great with jeans. All right, so moving on to the ventilated. So I'm gonna tell you now, I'm being perfectly honest with you. This, this guy right here, and all the, the waterproof line, their non-vented boot, I wouldn't recommend using that boot in the summer when it's super, super hot because it is waterproof and it is non-ventilated. So what's gonna happen is your feet are gonna sweat just like in pretty much any other boot that is waterproof, non-ventilated in the summer days. So I wouldn't recommend you using it. I would recommend if you love Indy Ridge, buy yourself a pair of waterproof for the uh, late fall, winter, early spring, and then get yourself a pair of non-ventilated for the summer because it's gonna make a world of difference. So now this is what I use uh, for the summer. Let me show you guys. These are going to be their ventilated lineup. So this is the Crow ventilated. This is the Crow non-ventilated. So this is fully waterproof Crow. This is a Crow that is ventilated. So I'm gonna show you the difference because this is pretty cool compared to this boot with the ventilated night, which is pretty amazing. So, but we'll go into that later. So one of the boots I always use is the ventilated crow. You could see it is not ventilated in the front right here or the heel, but this is where it's ventilated right here. All this material, there's perforations in the leather right here. Same thing, super comfortable ankle protection. You have the ankle protection in every single boot super light. Wait until you guys get a pair and you're, you're going to see how light these boots are. You're going to be amazed. That is another thing that is just, I can't stand. If you have a heavy boot, a heavy riding boot, it will tire you out. You won't be able to wear a heavy boot for long periods at a time, day after day after day. You're going to be hating life. I'm telling you now. And that's why I could be in these boots literally all day from morning till night till I get back to the hotel for two weeks straight just having this boot on because they're light. So check this out. This is a ventilated boot. And I do want to tell you that the minute you're on the bike, you could feel the air coming into this boot. So then the other boot that I'm using is the Crossfield right here. So now this boot looks almost like the Crow but we have right here the gum sole, which I like personally. This is my favorite boot for the summer. I don't know why. I think it's the gum sole. I just like that you have the contrast between the sole and the boot, but same. Oh, let me do, I'm sorry. I just wanted to mention one more thing. The tongue is ventilated as well. So that's why you could, you could definitely feel the air coming into the boot and onto your foot, immediately cooling your foot off. So same thing goes for this one, non-ventilated here or the heel, ventilated through this portion of the boot. 
and into the tongue. But I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell you guys, you purchase a pair of these boots, you're gonna love them. So now they also came out with the night ventilated. Now this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is, it feels even lighter. Like if you guys want the most ventilated boots from Indie Ridge, I would highly recommend the night ventilated. So I'm gonna show you guys why. Same thing, non-ventilated here, non-ventilated, but same thing, ventilated throughout this portion and ventilated in the tongue, but it feels lighter than the Crow. I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. Let me shut the light off here in my den because I wanna show you guys something pretty amazing. I am going to put this flashlight inside of the boot. Can you see any light shining through? You probably can't. But trust me, they are ventilated and the ventilation works remarkably well on these boots. This is the ventilated crow. Now check out what they did with the ventilated night. You could actually see the light. So these are even more lighter and more ventilated than the crow. Like you could see the light moving around. You see that? I'm moving the flashlight inside. That's how ventilated these boots are. But if I take the crow, I'm doing the same thing with the flashlight. You cannot see the light. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys like the ventilation on it, but it's pretty remarkable. But if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask me down below if I miss something. But I will tell you, if you do purchase like six, seven pairs of these Indy Ridge boots, you will have a problem not knowing which one to wear that day. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out, see you guys later. Make sure you check out the links in the description down below. Use my code and get yourself a discount on the most amazing riding boot you can get. See you guys later.